Vegas Movie Studio 15 makes it easy and fun to edit exciting video productions. The modern, logical interface gives you easy access to all of the powerful tools that enable sophisticated movie making. When you first open Vegas Movie Studio, you see the demonstration project. This project gives you an idea of what a finished project looks like. You might want to study it for a bit to get familiar. After you've looked around, let's start your own project. Click the New Empty Project button. Now you have a blank slate in front of you, and from there you can create anything you want to. Let's walk through an overview of the software so you can learn the basics and get started editing right away. The Quick Start Dashboard serves as your launching pad and gives you easy access to step-by-step -step video production. Just follow through the numbered steps to make your video. If you get stuck at any time, use the Show Me How link on the Quick Start Dashboard to learn exactly how to accomplish important tasks. The unique and innovative Show Me How tutorials walk you through the steps necessary to achieve your goal, but more than that, they guide you as you actually do the work so that by the time you're finished with the tutorial, you've already made the edits to your project. To start any project, you add media to it. This media could be audio, video, or still image files that you pull from your hard drives, video cameras, or other devices, as well as text and graphical elements that you create right inside the software. First, add your video files to your project. Click the Add Video and Add Audio button in the Quick Start dashboard. In the Add Video and Audio dialog box that opens, choose the option that gets you to the media you want to use. For example, if you have video files you want to use on your computer drives, click the Add Media link. Use the Add Media dialog box to navigate to the location on your hard drives where you've stored your files, select the files you want to use, and click the Open button. You'll notice that the files you added now appear in the Project Media window. This window holds all the files that you've already added to your project. Now, drag the file you want to start with down onto the video track in the timeline. You'll do all of your editing work in the timeline. Notice that if your video also had audio, the audio is broken out to a separate audio track. This makes Vegas Movie Studio very flexible because you can edit the audio separately from the video if you want to. Drag another video to the same track after the other video. Play your project. You've just created your first video edit. Now let's move on to step 2 in the Quick Start Dashboard. Click the Add Text and Graphics link. This opens the Media Generators window. From this window, you can add different types of graphical elements as well as nice text and titles for your site. From the list on the left of the window, click Titles and Text. The right side of the window shows several preset thumbnails. Point to each one to see a preview of how the text will look and behave. Choose a thumbnail that has a checkered background and drag it to the text track in the timeline right above the video you've already added to your project. Select the text in the Video Media Generators dialog box and type your own text. Then set things like font size, face, color, alignment, and so on to make your text look just the way you want it. When you're done, close the Video Media Generators window, play your project, and notice that your text shows up over the top of your video. Next, click the Create Transition button in the Quick Start Dashboard. These are all of the transitions that give you an interesting switch from one video clip to the next. To see how it works, drag the second of your two video clip events to the left so that its left edge overlaps the right end of the other. The X shape identifies the amount of overlap. 
play your project and notice how the first video fades out as the second one fades in. This is called a crossfade, and it's the simplest form of a transition between two clips. If you want a different transition, drag one of the thumbnails from your transitions window and drop it onto the overlap area between the two clips. Play your project again, and notice that it has automatically switched to your new transition. If you don't like that one, drag another one down, and it will replace the old transition with the new one. To really take your movie to the next level, add video filters and effects. Click the Add Video Effects button in the Quick Start Guide to open the Video Effects window. The left side of the window shows a list of all of the effects and filters that come with Vegas Movie Studio. Let's say you want to make your video look like an old movie. Select Film Effect from the list, then drag the Very Old Film thumbnail onto the Timeline Clip event that holds your video in the timeline. Play your project, and now you have video that looks like it was shot a long time ago. It's really that simple. Finally, once you've added all of your media and made all of your edits, it's time to deliver the final project. Click the Make Movie button in the Quick Start dashboard. You'll have a lot of different options to choose from, but say you want to share your video on Facebook. Click the Upload it to Facebook link and follow the instructions from there. In no time at all, your video is posted to your Facebook page for you to share with all of your friends. There's a lot we didn't talk about here, but this gives you a great foundation of understanding that you can use to make your first movie. Don't forget that the Show Me How tutorials can help you when you get stuck. But with the Quick Start Dashboard as your guide, you'll be making movies in no time.